Alternaria is a disease of hot summer that develops during the time when it's really hot. This is the associated disease to Phytophthora. If Phytophthora doesn't progress, then Alternaria progresses. What does it look like? These are such specks on the leaves. They're not large, for example, coin-sized, like in the case of Phytophthora, but these are small specks. There are many, many of them, and sometimes they merge. This is Alternaria. It develops under the hot weather conditions. Alternaria develops on plants that have stresses. They can come from either a lack of moisture or a lack of nutrition. That is, you should nourish the plants, but of course in advance. If you see that these small specks begin to appear on the leaves, that means you should nourish and water the plants. It turns out that the root nutrition is disturbed and the diseases begin to damage the plant tissue and it begins to die. Of course, the possibility of disease occurrence is higher on open ground or in a greenhouse that, for example, isn't ventilated. You come inside the greenhouse and the temperature there is 40 degrees. Definitely at this temperature, everything will develop very quickly. But please remember that alternaria implies the following point. It is necessary to nourish the plants and to use fertilizers. That is, you can make diluted NPK solutions or you can use fertilizers that are applied on the leaves. Maybe it's worth carrying out the treatment both under the root and on the leaves. That's because you might not give enough water to the root when watering the plant. Sometimes it is very, very hot and almost nothing is absorbed, so the water doesn't really get to the root. And pay attention to the fact that the nutrition of the leaves provides protection for about three days, and the maximum is five days. That is, the amount of fertilizer applied on the leaf may not be enough for a big plant for a month or two weeks. This is only for three days, and we can have very hot weather for three weeks, right? So you need to do such nourishing at least three times to get the result out of it. Otherwise, let's suppose that you have done it only once. It's good for three or four days, but then the plant is stressed again. Let's consider the agent known as Isabion. This is an amino acid solution and there are no micro elements, but there are ready-made amino acids that integrate almost immediately. Among all of the biological preparations, Isabion? Hmm. It is clear that it is a little expensive compared to other agents. Some fungicides intended for Phytophthora also work against Alternaria, but not always, especially if Alternaria is strong. For example, Ridamil. It works against Phytophthora and Alternaria. Consenta also works against them both. If Alternaria is strong and we still have hot weather, then these agents won't help. Among the preparations against Alternaria, which are sold in small packaging, SCORE can be recommended. It is intended against scab on pear and apple trees, and it can also be used against alternaria on tomatoes and potatoes. You can add score to the solution intended against Phytophthora. But to get the effect, you should carry out not only one treatment, but two. Usually this should be done during the hot period. Actually, it's perfect to carry out the treatment before the hot period, because when it comes, your plants will have protection. Also, you can try to treat your plants when the disease has just started. Alternaria may stop. And if the Phytophthora can stop, then Alternaria can. The critical phase for the potato when Alternaria occurs is usually the beginning of flowering, when the first symptoms appear. Therefore, before flowering, the plants should be treated as, by the way, during the flowering period itself. Yes, it's worth carrying out two treatments with an interval of 10 days between them. If the treatment is carried out quite late, when the leaves are already strongly damaged, this won't help. Thank you.